Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, so I've had some comments regarding the last video, the sim brief one, of where to get the departure and arrival from and how to input that into the actual computer itself within the aircraft and uh, generate, well, finish off the flight plan, so to speak. So I do apologize for missing that bit out last time. I'm trying my best to keep these videos really short and sweet. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to get that information from sim brief into the computer of the plane uh, with your departure and arrival, what you're looking for for a sit and star. And uh, we're also going to show you very quickly how to program this aircraft for an ILS approach. So that is today's goal and let's get started. Okay, so what I've done is I've generated my flight plan in Simbrief, which I showed in the last video. And we're going to use an example as Heathrow to Edinburgh again. What we want to do is we want to click on the OFP here. Uh, so print PDF and get a lot more information. Now, this will give you a runway departing and arriving on. Now, what I tend to do is uh, either check VATSIM if you're flying on VATSIM or flight radar. So at Heathrow right now, we can see they are landing on the left runway for 27. And at Edinburgh, they are landing and taking off. It doesn't give me... Uh, wait, we got one here. Okay, so they're actually using the opposite. Uh, they normally use 2 four, but they're using the other way around. So that's absolutely fine. So flight radar is a great way of doing this as well, or VATSIM if it's busy. So we're in the aircraft now. Let's quickly power this on. So all I'm going to do is show the initial part here of getting the aircraft uh, set up for uh, the flight route. So let's so get the batteries on here and we do need to align the IRSs, which is one, two and three. These three switches up here. Right, we're going to come down to the uh, MCDU here. We're just going to hit clear, get rid of that bottom information. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to menu, A cars. Make sure your username is in here. Sim brief request pending. Now, if you are getting a pending request, any builds have stated that they are working on this. They, they should have a patch out hopefully soon, very soon. So company route uplink is done. We're going to hit OK or clear down here, sorry. So we can see we're going from EGLL to EGPH. I'm happy with this. Uh, we've got a cruise level of 36,000 feet. Cost index. Now, if we bring over the OFP here, we can see our Mac is going to be... So here it is. Our cruise is going to be Mac 8. Well, Mac 8. Mac 0 0.08. And now, uh, uh, the cost index, you can just play with this as you go, right? So we're going to put in 50 for now. If that's too high, it's not the end of the world. So we've got that in. Flight ID, whatever you, whatever airline you are today. So say, for example, I don't know, you're going to be um, Pan Am. Uh, so we're going to go PAA236. In that goes. And we're going to align the IRSs just by hitting that button there. Now we're going to go next page here, and we need this information. So we're going to go to our wait page here. Again, we're going to bring over the OFP. We're going to scroll down until we come up to the wait part here. So we can see passengers is going to be 220, cargo 6.1, payload 23.7, etc., etc. So I'm just going to put that on the other screen, and I'm going to fill that in very quickly. Okay, so the weights are in and everything and the fuel. We're going to hit apply. We're going to go live now. And then what we can do is grab this information, right? So back onto this page here, we're going to look for our block fuel. And our block fuel is slightly higher than what Simbrief gave us just because it's a bit hard to the sliders. So it is at 9.2. So we're going to put in 9.2. Our zero fuel weight is going to be 221.7. 221.7. And our center of gravity is going to be 28.1. 28.1 so i'm happy with that and now what we're going to do is going to go to flight plan now to do the departure we bring simbrief back over here if you scroll up to the actual route in here so anything after the runway here for example um with the number followed by a letter is going to be your sid your standard instrument departure so from 27 right, this is given us. Now they are using uh, 27 right for takeoff uh, uh, here, sorry, as we saw on flight radar. So we are on the, uh, the Umlat 1 Foxtrot departure. That's what that is, okay? So we're going to go into our flight plan, click on Heathrow, our SID, and it's 27 right departure. We're going to scroll through and... There it is that yeah, so it's the umla one foxtrot. So looking here, it's the umla there's a T there, but it's fine. So umlat one foxtrot. 
I'm like, one fox drop. We're going to put that in and we're going to hit insert. We've got that in and all we do now is we scroll through everything through here. Quick scroll. We're looking for our arrival. So EGPH. Bringing the OFP back over again. And we are looking at the NP1 Echo arrival. So we're going to click on star, which is our arrival. It is ILS 6 and MP1 Echo. And it is it Vital at uh, TLA? Let's have a look. And no, so TLA is not on here. So we're not going to do via TLA. And we're going to hit insert. And then we're going to scroll through to make sure we've got no discos or vectors. And we do put that after the actual arrival. So that's no problem at all. Now, you can use Navigraph charts if you are paying for a subscription for this, by the way. And again, we can see what our departure looks like. So on 27 right on the Umla 1 Foxtrot. So this is the, the pink line here is our departure. Okay, out of Heathrow. And then our arrival. If we go all the way up here. So this is the star here, which is the MP, um, what was it? The MP1 Echo arrival here at the star. And the actual approach, so we're going to hit select here, ILS 06. Now, we can just try do final, and that's what that is. So that's going to get us to come out here, basically. From this point, we'll turn left, and then hook up to it. Or we could try the TLA, which we don't want because we're going past TLA on our arrival. So we're just going to do final. So we're going to hit add to route for that one, and this is what we're looking to do. So we're going to get to Tartan here, and then we're going to turn left. We're going to come down here. Now, normally, uh, obviously, real life or VATSIM, I, uh, the, the ATC will most likely get you vet to you over this way. You probably won't fly this actual route in here. You'll probably come more this way and then come into the runway, okay? So I hope that's answered any questions regarding how to get the flight plan fully into the MCDU for the A310. Any other questions on that, please drop a comment below and I'll be happy to help. And next, let's do a talk about the ILS. Right, so as we can see, we are only about 12 miles away from the airport. So what we need to do is we've got everything in here. That's fine. Now the ILS. So all we want to do is under the ILS, if you bring up some charts. So on Navigraph here, we can see 061, uh, the course, and the ILS frequency is 108.9. And that's what we need to tune in. Now you can get this information by Googling it as well. So we can see here, now it does say 1064 uh, uh, instead of 1061. So it, just make sure the charts that you've Googled are relatively up to date, but it gives you an idea you can Google these. The ILS frequency 108.9. So we're going to stick that in now. So let me just put that over here. And that goes just above the throttles here. So the, the ILS frequency is 108.9. We'll go this way. There we go. And the course is 61. There we go. So that's the ILS set up. The aircraft now knows the ILS frequency and the course. Okay, so what we do now is this here, we're going to drop that down to uh, ILS and we're going to hit land button. That's going to bring the lock alive. There we go. And these diamonds here, what they want to be is they want to be central for this marker here and this marker here. And we can see it's 4,000 feet. So on the free chart here, we can see the 4,000 feet right there. And that is the capture of the localizer slash glide slope. The localizer you can catch further out, but you want to be around the 4,000 feet mark. And the same for Navigraph, we can see that right here at the bottom of the chart, okay? So it's captured that. We are descending on the localizer. It has caught the localizer and we've got glide slope alive as well. So basically when the GS and the, the lock here are green like this with no stars next to them, that means we are on the localizer. The weather's not the prettiest, so we're going to go a Cat 3, so that's an automated landing. So what we're going to do at this point, we're about 10 miles out, we're taking it nice and slow. We're going to go gear down now, and down here, into uh, we're going to go into uh, TO uh, slash approach, and here's the landing configuration. So we're going to go slaps 30, flaps 40. The MDA, which is the go around, so when you hear the aircraft go minimums, so that information is at the bottom of the chart. And we're going to be cat three, so that is decision height of 50. And the same here, we can see it's down. It should be on this chart here, but it's showing, well, it's showing 100. But I think this chart here is slightly dated, but again, just a quick Google. So we're going to put in 50 into the MDA.
We can see our rear approach is 132. Okay, so we're going to start slowing down now. To bring this all the way down to about 135. There we go, 135. And speed's good, so we're going to go next stage of flaps. So flaps 20, slats 20 as well. Speed's coming down nicely. We're on the glide. And we're going to go full flaps and slats now. So we've extended this uh, lever here, and we can see them extended down here as well. And also we can see CAT2 has been enabled. We want CAT3. To enable CAT3 is you would go Autopilot 2 on. And now it says CAT3. If you're just doing a standard uh, ILS approach with good weather, you just do the normal, everything up into what we've just done now, apart from you do not turn Autopilot 2 on. When you're happy, you just simply turn off the Autopilot with this red button here, or turn uh, this switch here, and then you'll be flying manually. So right now, we are looking good. We're on glide. Speed is 135. We are on Autopilot 1 and 2. Cat 3 is indicated here for an auto land. Our auto brakes are set for medium and the speed brakes are, are now armed. So all I have to do on landing is I will kick in the reverses. You know, the 400. Wind's not the, the weather's not the nicest here today at Edinburgh. This is a really good example. I'm touching absolutely nothing. My hands are completely off. Autopilot is still on, as you can see. This is the first time I've tested the, the Cat 3, actually. So here we go. Oh, it is struggling. It's struggling. I'm touching nothing. Is it got it? Oh God. Oh God. Flares kicked in. There we go. Autopilot's kicked off my aircraft. Oh my god. Reverses are green. That was um, <laughs> that was a bit sketchy, but we made it. And diesel manual braking reverses can come off at this point as well. Well, we made it. It wasn't the prettiest, but we're here. Let's get that wiper going, shall we? Right, let's just come to a little stop here. So. You can see the, I don't know if you saw that just then, the, the rollout, and it came up here as well. Flare, just as it's about to flare. Uh, autopilot's been disconnected, that's fine. I'm just gonna press this button to uh, get rid of that warning. Um, but yeah, so speed brakes are out and everything, and we can retract them back in, bring up the flaps. Um, but yeah, I hope that's helped. Uh, that was an interesting end, should we say. If you do have any more questions, please do feel free to ask. Um, I will be happy to help where I can. And I hope this has answered a lot of questions that some of you guys have had in the previous videos about the A310. Uh, hopefully a patch will be out soon, like I said. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.